Welcome to the Jag Corner. I am Will Thorup, your host, and these are my wonderful co-hosts. We have Michael back again for some uh, Atari for torture. For some reason. Yeah, for some <laughs> reason. And Bryce is back this week, uh, and he brought his uh, son, Jens, um, to join us on the stream as well. So, you guys ready to play some uh, Fallen Angels? We're doing Fallen Angels this week. Cool. That's a pretty cool name, right? Yeah. Fallen Angels. So, uh, Fallen Angels, um, before we start playing, and I'm going to try to not take too much time with this. And, uh, for those who aren't familiar, Fallen Angels is a homebrew for the Atari Jaguar. It's a 3D homebrew. Remember when somebody asked us a few weeks ago, what are some 3D homebrews? And I couldn't think of any. And, and, but, but Fallen Angels is one of those 3D homebrews, and it's actually pretty good for a Jaguar game. Um, Anyways, as, uh, there's a there's a thread here, and my browser's frozen, so we're gonna skip that. Anyways, it, it, he has a website. There's a thread here. You can probably see the address. Oh, I probably need to jump over to the web browser. There we go. Um, hopefully, you can see that. Let me double check. Yeah, for some reason, it isn't updating on my end. Um, so he has a website where you can download it at, or you can go to Atari H and just search Fallen Angel, and you'll find the uh, the thread for that one as well. Um, Anyways, uh, before we get started, let's take a moment with the manual because there's a few more controls in this game than the other game, and you won't have fun unless you know the controls. So does it uh, say that on the manual? No, it's but there's a few steps to well, well read the manual. Right. Humanity is at war with a race of ugly aliens. Right. Again, again, they're all ugly. They're always they? ugly, aren't they? That's why they're aliens. <laughs> In the game, you're on a rescue mission to save the pilots who have been shot down during battle. You must rescue a quota of ten pilots in regular missions. The rest don't matter. Yeah, I guess. Just need ten of them. It's weird because <laughs> I, I was playing a little bit before the stream, and you don't need to get ten for every level. <laughs> so I'm not sure why that's in the manual. This must be an old manual or something. I'm just wondering if it says who put together the manual. It doesn't say. Um, okay, there are, uh, there are fewer pilots to rescue in the first missions. Oh, there, he answered the question. I yeah. look stupid now. Uh, <laughs> to rescue a pilot, you, uh, you have to locate its ship using the radar. So there's a radar. Land nearby the ship. Disable your shields to let the pilot reach your ship. If you enable your shields while the pilot is running, it will fry the pilot. So you got to be aware of that. Open the airlock when the <laughs> pilot gets there. <laughs> Uh, and when he bangs on the door. So he'll actually knock on the door, and you can open up the door, and you'll hear him climb up uh, a metal step ladder. It's kind of cool. If you wait for too long, the pilot will melt in the acidic atmosphere. Once the pilot is inside the ship, the shield is reactivated automatically, so you don't have to go through the steps again, thankfully, and you can just take off. The pilot will give you a bit of energy as well. Uh, there are also ace pilots, recognizable, recognizable at, by their golden suits, who will give you more energy, they are also worth more points. So there's still a point system in this game. Uh, so once, so this is really important too. I, kn I know this is a little bit slow, but there's a few more steps <laughs> to this game, and I don't want anybody to feel like they're getting, <laughs> like they don't get it. So uh, I had to review all this because I had forgotten all the controls. So uh, once your quota is reached, the mothership will make regular flybys. Use your boosters to reach the mothership. The boosters don't activate if the mothership isn't reachable or your altitude is too low. So uh, you'll see a message up in the top right that says mothership, and you have to begin flying up at full speed, and then you hit seven in order to end the level, basically. Oh. So, um, and the controls. Is yeah. Pro Controller maybe? <laughs> is that what those buttons? Oh, yeah, probably. Oh, I didn't even think to pull out Pro Controller. <laughs> um, uh, you won't score any points if you go too early. So if you don't get your quota and you go back to the mothership, it, it won't work that way. Uh, it will just restart the level. If you rescue pilots above quota, you'll get bonus points. Beware of enemy turrets and drones. Turrets shoot at you if you're within their range. You can destroy them with your plasma gun. Uh, your scanner tells you if a turret has a lock on you. Drones fly towards your ship and explode, infecting, inflicting great damage. Oh, that didn't happen when I was playing earlier, so that should be interesting. Turrets and drones don't see you when your shield is disabled. Oh, I didn't realize that either. That's nice. So you can land and disable your shield for them to run out and they won't shoot you. Hmm. That's cool. Okay, so arrows to turn, so the direct the D-pad. A to accelerate, so that's the top button. C to brake. Um, 
and B to fire. So the middle button is to fire, the middle red button. Um, and then to land is one. To enable disable shields is two. And then to open your airlock is three. So they're right in order right there. So you'll get used to it. Like the pattern is pretty simple once you start. Um, and then the booster is seven, which is, uh, um, that will be the hardest one to get used to because you're kind of pushing up and accelerating and hitting seven. Don't same miss the most time. important. Uh, uh, the star. Self-destruct with star and pound. Oh, at the same time. Probably. Yeah, at the same time. That's that's a typical reset for a Jaguar game, but I think there is an animation <laughs> for the self-destruct. So all the guys in your ship, then blow up. <laughs> and then blow up. <laughs> Okay, I think we're good to go. Um, oh, and I realized I don't think anybody could see this. I forgot to set it up. Sorry about that, guys. You've just been staring at the web browser. Uh, <laughs> that's fine. Um, let's get to playing the game. Let me just make sure everything's set up correctly. Yeah, looks good. Oh, this game has an intro, too, which is pretty cool. Are you guys all right if I go first? I'm fine with that. Okay, just to kind of show you everything. Oh, look at this spaceship chasing them. Uh, that's what the interface looks like. Good job, Will. You crashed. I crashed. <clears throat> that's a pretty cool watch intro. Out for too. Guys? Yeah. Should you do box art for this? Um. Was I not supposed to say that? You were not supposed to say that, but... Uh, <laughs> it's, Sorry. I, um, oh, I can't say much. Sorry. I'll shut uh, up. No, you, no you're yet. fine. <laughs> I was like, that's a familiar name. Why is that? It's possible I've done box art for this game. Oh, yeah. so, there we go. May, <laughs> may or may not have. I might uh, have done it. He might have done yeah, it. Yeah, there we go. Um, Perfect so, diversion. This has a pretty cool intro screen. Oh, holy crap, there's a lot of people here. Sorry, I wasn't watching the questions. Them. Played some Ultra Vortec, just played some Wormhole. Hey, Breaking Chad, <laughs> we haven't seen you in a while. Thanks for coming back. Uh, I have been busy tinkering all Jaguar, really. So, Matt, you're the one that's working on the hybrid Jaguar CD with the normal base console. I don't know if you've been seeing that on the Twitter, Bryce, at all. Huh. He's combining the CD. With, nice. And he's doing a nice smooth cut in, in the recess and everything. You know, it's pretty I think cool. I have seen that actually. Yeah. So we, we saw some pictures a few weeks ago. He's made quite a bit of progress on it, so it's pretty cool. Um, you going for the full set, chat? Yeah, looking forward to your updates. I wish. Hola. Just trying. Uh, I wish. Just trying to get my old. I'm just seeing if there's anything else breaking chat. Uh, Chad, check out Flapping McFur. It's better than Trevor <laughs> McFur. Ah, that's right. We, we had a low bar to begin with, but, but we did it. We cleared it. <laughs> we cleared that bar. <laughs> Hopefully, Crescent Memories will, will make it so that bar is too high to ever pass again. Yeah, yeah something like that. Um, had to sell my entire gaming collection about three years ago. <coughs> back. Well, plus two games. Okay. Chad, I hope you get... Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions, we'll try to keep an eye on the chat. We're a little less aware of the chat when we're playing games. I'll watch. So, but yeah, Bryce watches it. Um, I'll, I'll try to keep an eye on it too. So, Okay, let's get started. It sounds like it's got some nice music too. Yeah, some good music. I don't know. That's see how he's weird. doing an overlay thing with Fallen Angels? I don't know if that was just the background animated. I don't know if you noticed that before the planet came up. Uh -oh. um, but I. Uh, it's it's being added. Like oh, it's doing the add it's, it's doing the add Kind of like the overlay on AVP. Yeah, probably. yeah. Uh, which is which is cool. And I'm pretty sure he is doing an actual operation yeah. for that rather than just animating the background and the title. It's pretty quick, so I understand. But anyways, it's uh, yeah, it's a cool title screen. I think this is the only. No, he does have one more song, uh, and we'll get to that here. So let's start. Ooh, there's a launch sequence. Oh, so Michael, the reason why I thought you might be interested in this game is, have you heard of a game called Rescue on uh, a Fractalis? No, I don't think so. It's a LucasArts game. Oh, really? It's yeah. one of their first games. It wasn't a point and click. It was, wasn't a point and click. It was, it, was it around it was the time like of Ball Blaster or whatever? Yeah, it was about that okay. same time. In fact, I think it was the same generation. Um, oh, yeah. I saved him! Anyways, I... Uh, Retro Man Cave, actually. 
Retro Man Cave actually did a video uh, about rescue on Fractalis. Uh, am I saying that right? It doesn't sound. I, right. That's what I would Fractalis. Call it from what I've seen. Yeah. Um, Fractalis sounds a little more familiar when you say it that way. So, and yeah, Fractalis sounds. You landed good. on top of it. Nice. Jocks, gotta open the door. And it climbs up inside. This first oh, yeah. level's a little boring because there's no turrets or anything. I have two shields. Oh, I hit the landing button. There we go. <laughs> I'll, ki I'll kill the next guy. Turn on your shields right before you. You can do that or you can close the door on him. Do they make horrible screaming noise? <laughs> they might, I don't remember. <sighs> You didn't kill him. Pilot crushed. Oh, you crushed Aww. him in the door? Yeah. <laughs> you opened it and closed it too soon. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty bad. Other ships here, it said. Let's see if we can get it. <laughs> Seven. Seven. No, it's not letting me. It'll flash auto once you hit seven, and it'll take you up there. What seven. happens if you open the door while you're flying? It's not letting me. Aww. I was hoping, like, all the guys would fly <laughs> out. <There's one. laughs> that would be cool. Yeah. Bullet 21 says that is looking good. Yeah, I agree, especially for Homebury, that the graphics on this one are They're pretty impressive. Spectacular. Uh, Will and I have speculated about how they do the 3D terrain effect. Because it's not quite a fractal engine. It acts yeah. kind of like a fractal well, engine. What I notice is when you get close to the ground, you get that dark gradient going on. Yeah. Like you get with the Gurad Shade Polygons yeah. and the Jaguar, so I think he's doing some hybrid approach. Uh, the, both of them. Some yeah. sort of height map, but he's using mm. polygons at the end of the day. Whatever so. it is, it's silky smooth. Yeah. I don't know how he's pulling it off. It's really it's pretty good. cool. Okay, Mike. All right, yeah. Can we give it a try? Let's do it. So he has another song there. It's some cool artwork. I don't know if he did the artwork. I assume he did. Um, Dr. Typo. Uh-oh. I, I hit a accelerator. Just, oh. I was messing around. So yeah, B is to shoot, and I think there are turrets on this level. Is there one right there? <laughs> so the way oh, the radar works him. is your ship is located at the bottom Did I? middle. Yeah. Blew him up. Did I you did. blow him up? You shot him. Oh, I didn't know you could blow him up. So shield is two. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Pilot too far. It says. Okay, so. He's still alive. Um, How do you get up? Just accelerate. See, see if that does it. Okay, here we go. Cool. If you explode all your spaceships, they'll still go inside quickly. Yeah. Cool. Let me flip around. Yeah, let me. It oh. sounds like the audio is fine. Yeah, this this game has a lot more bass to it, and that song in between levels has quite a bit of bass. Oh, okay, it's a good song. here we, we go. We might sit on that for a minute. There's one. There's one over there. There's one. Bullet 21, welcome to the stream. Hey, hey, Bullet 21, have you been here before? Are you new? I'm afraid of like flying over him, but. Okay. okay. You should be close enough. So, two. Yeah, there he is. Come on in. <laughs> this was like, blah, blah, blah. Oh, oh killed. You turned the on the shield and it killed him. <laughs> he oh! So, it's one, two, and three. Sorry, I, for, I keep forgetting one is land. Yeah. I keep, I keep thinking uh, two is the door, but that's the shield. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and I guess it's the engines, too, when you turn it back on. Huh. Interesting. Okay, uh, is it just those three dots on the interface? Yeah, so the left one is your engines, the middle one's your sh I thought it was your shields. Okay, and I And then see. the last one is the door. Someday I'm going to get a pilot, and I'll feel really good about myself. <laughs> there you go. There's one right there! Oh. <laughs> Not anymore! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Let's try that again. There we go. There we go. Hop cool. in. He didn't die! Wait. Oh, you killed him. Oh, man! You have to wait for his... <laughs> you have to wait for his footsteps to finish. Terrible, terrible. I'm new! You know... I'm the biggest Atari fan in Croatia. Rescue on Fractalis was one of my favorite games on the 800XL. Sweet! Croatia! I can't even think of where that is. Where's Croatia? Um, it's where Serious Sam comes from. Oh, really? So the baby sure. brother's this one. Yeah. So I actually have been doing fixes to this uh, 
1200. Let me switch over to All that. Right. Uh, to this 1200 XL. Yeah. Bryce Bryce says this was the one we grew up with. We had that. We we I had don't know it. If that okay. is the one, but we had a 1200. Yeah. So I remember the 800 XL. Well, we had an 800. There's yeah. One right there too. But um. Anyways, I've been uh, restoring this one and There's making one sure there. it works. Okay, I'm going for it. Debating whether I should sell it or sh I should keep it. But welcome, uh, Bullet 21. Bullet. Where is Croatia? I should know where that is. Hey, you got it. Europe? Is that it? Uh, near Middle East? I think so. Like it's Hungary, like, Turkey? I think it's there? like uh, Eastern Europe. Um, it's in near the Czech Republic. Ooh, I don't know. I've never been to Europe, so I never. Uh, I don't have in my collection. Yeah, it's, so the 1200 XL, from what I've read, I'm not. I wasn't too familiar with it until I read it's it. It's on the other side of Italy. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, it's across the, the bay. Just the east of Italy, then. Okay. Yes, Mesopot Mesopotamia, Tamia, Rome yeah. Total War, right? Yes. No, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's the Greeks. It's the Greeks. Austria, Austria. Hungary. Yeah. Cool. It's next to Italy. It's kind of nice cool. that it automatically resets everything when they come inside. Falcon. Look how close these guys crash together. XL version so much. It was one of my first games I ever played on the Atari 800. I've actually, I've never played uh, Rescue of Fractalis on... Um, Fractalus. Fractalus. That's probably how you say it. Um, I don't know why I'm having a hard time with that. It seems like I've seen it earlier. Is that a problem? Um, I've, I've never played the original 8-bit version. Um, I, the reason why I oh, thought of this game... Oh, this one. The reason why I thought of this game was uh, Retro Man Cave recently did a video um, where he was restoring his 800 XL. And so I'm like, oh, there's, there's a version of that game for the Jaguar. And I, oh, I, I just thought we should play that. You get a few points for a turret for destroying that. Oh, crud. If you land and turn off your shields, they won't see you. Oh, that's what that bottom right bar is? I think it shows you the direction where the turret is shooting you from. So it's like to the right. Oh, okay. But oh, I'll take him out. Is that my health on the... Or shields? I, I figured the blue was shields. I don't know if your link showed up, uh, Bolo21. Um... I was looking for an option for that. I couldn't find an option to enable link posting in chat. Uh, um, uh, mention on a tweet. A Twitter account. Oh yeah, if you if you want to uh, just mention us at bit underscore jag on Twitter, you can send the link that way. Because this is a really fun game. I I really enjoy this game. Got him. There's another one back here. Okay, so another thing I learned when I was playing before oh. the stream, you see how that number is flashing? You want to try Which number? Oh, at the bottom? Yeah, that's how many oh, people you oh, need to get, but when yeah. it's flashing, that means you have one more than you actually need. So it counts down to zero, and then it starts flashing, then it counts up from that number. Okay. That's, how, that's how they do it. So should I get another one? No, you're, you have one extra, actually, right now. Oh. So you can keep rescuing them, or you can go to the mothership. Oh, okay. So, yeah, or you can, don't matter. Or you can go until you die. Your your health is on the right side. Oh, okay. and I think you have fuel on the left side, so you have to be. Oh, it's low. Oh no no no. That's no, I think that's my shield. Or your speed. It's your you speed, I think. Your shield's the one on the right. Interesting. All this no. game needs is a disembodied AI robot head saying, "Where did you learn? Where to did fly? you learn to fly? Where It'd did be you?" Perfect. <laughs> Is that uh, from Trevor McFur? Uh, uh, Cybermorph. Oh, Cybermorph. Green headed. Have you I've seen never that played meme? that one. No? Oh, we might have to do that one. <laughs> hey, I'm down. Where did you learn to fly? They fixed a lot of that in Battlemorph, yeah. thankfully. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, Bullet 21, I don't know if this one has the aliens that run up to your cockpit and knock on the glass. Oh, is it because I just have too many I can't get anymore? Maybe. Or you maybe, may have been there be I was about before. To say, you may have already got that one. So. Oh. The levels are set. They aren't procedurally generated. I, oh, I, I noticed okay. that. I kept thinking they were. So it's it just felt like that. So it's possible you've rescued everybody on this level. Okay. So, and so you Well, you need to watch out for the mothership. It'll say mothership at the top, and that's when you accelerate and then hit seven. And it should... Uh, there's mothership right there. Um, so just... Yeah, there you go. Okay. Uh, you might just have to hit seven. You just have to get fast enough in order to do it. So. Cool. There, you go. there might be an altitude thing with the mothership. I'm not sure. Sweet level two. 
things do get harder. Um, I think I got to level five, and there, there's these drones that go around. And... Killed three guys. <laughs> That's pretty hard. <laughs> I mean, just the psychological effect that my yeah. character's going to experience. Yeah. For the That's rest okay. Of his life. The the acid burns most of the blood off the hole before you rescue That's the right. other guy. That's right. <laughs> you just have to sweep the bones out. <laughs> But the guys get crushed in the door. That's a, it's a little more um, involved. So apparently in the original game, and I, I assume it's in the later levels. Somebody can correct me with this because I haven't played the original game. But some of the guys you rescue, when they come up, they're actually aliens, and they try to break your ship. Oh, that's awesome. Um, and, and so they were asking if this one has that, and I'm not sure yet because my guess is they probably show up in later levels, and I just haven't gotten that far. So hopefully we'll get that far. I'm hoping to get to at least level 10 here. It'll be Jens' turn next. I don't want to. You don't want to play? I like playing with my Okay. <laughs> Are you fine watching? Oh, good, good job, right? If we could hook up the other controller, we would do that, but we can't. There's no way to do it. Well, I wish I could do it. <laughs> It'd be cool to see... Uh, some sort of Bluetooth option for the Jaguar for controller hookup. That'd be cool. The issue is, is you'll never have enough buttons on other controllers because you have all the number. You have the number pad. Yeah. So. <laughs> uh, also, uh, yes, and they was scary. Also, there was laser domes shooting at you on higher levels. Yeah. So there's turrets. Like the turrets are hitting them right now. Um, and and have you guys run into a drone yet? They're flying. Um, yeah, he got one. Yeah, he got, he, he got one. like a UFO. So, so I know. There's yeah, another uh, one right there. Boom. Man, it, their hitboxes are huge. It, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty, well, and it's because you don't have. He has that. What would you call that? Ooh. It's the swinging effect of the movement, Ooh. and so him being a little more liberal with the hitboxes is probably necessary. So it isn't too frustrating. Yeah. Well, I'm sure in the later levels it'd probably be unbearable. Yeah. Anyways, I thought you might like the connection yeah. to LucasArts. So yeah. I'm like, oh, Mike should, Mike should be I, here I was, that. <laughs> I've played basically uh, most of their point-and-click adventures, especially in the Golden Era. But, yeah. Or Golden Age. What's Golden the oldest one you played? You played the first Monkey Island. Yeah, I played, I played Monkey Island. Uh, and that's pretty old. That's like 87? I've played Maniac Mansion. Yeah, that's the oh, the, yeah, yeah, that's their first one. I've, I've never beaten Maniac Mansion. Yeah, me um, <laughs> I you never had you. We never had the book to unlock the yeah. the other floors, and so I'd only play the first. Floor. I did the. Uh, I played the remake of Day of the Tentacle last summer, and one of the achievements on Steam is to play to a certain point. Oh, it's to put the hamster in the microwave in Maniac Mansion. Oh, no. And so I, I did a walkthrough to get to that point <laughs> in Maniac Mansion. That's the most I'd ever played it, and the furthest furthest I'd ever gotten. I got my gratuitous fun. But yeah, but then I got my my achievement. And I was like, okay, that was enough. And... Wait, do they have Maniac Mansion? Is that available on well, Steam? In Day of the Tentacle, if you go to Ed Edison's bedroom yeah. and you uh, use his computer, it, Maniac Mansion's right there. Yeah, it's yeah. built into the game. Oh, that's cool. and so, see, I've never played Day of the Tentacle. Every time right, I pick it up, up to the oh, it just yeah. turns me off. I, I don't, love that I don't game. find it attractive it's at all. If you ever want to understand my uh, sense of humor, <laughs> that <laughs> and uh, Sam and Max hit the road. Yeah, well, I was, you were quick to pick yeah. up on that before I even said it. <laughs> See, and I've never played the Sam and Max games, but I've never gone out to play them. Yeah, because they're kind of those ancillary Lucas Arts games yeah. that you don't well, hear about. Well, I Seven. think only Hit the Road is the only one done by Lucas Arts. Um, it was uh, who are the guys who did The Walking Dead. Telltale. Oh yeah. They bought the rights for uh, Sam and Max, try. or it was transferred, and a lot of those people left LucasArts to start that company. Um, and so, but I, I have no it's idea really how those stack up compared cool. to the other games or the point and click game. So, by the way, good frame rate for the Jaguar. Yeah. What's cool about this game is it's consistent frame rate. Um, I don't know what it's running at, but it's consistent. Whereas most Jag games, they tend the 3D tends to be all over the place in terms of frame rate, so. And he sent you a friend request on Facebook. So did he? Yeah. Oh, cool. Rock to go Oh, crap. Oh, crap. We're already being shot at. Run away. Get down into the valleys. Oh. Get 
Can you look in the back? Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Some games have that, don't they? Oh gosh, I am getting wasted. You gotta blow. Oh, yeah. Is there something? What was she? Oh, there it is. Okay, let's rescue someone. Maybe the hitboxes get smaller. As you I think they do, oh, actually. Because that was a little more precise there. Well, that ship I blew up, you know, the one I was supposed to rescue the guy from, I shot above it. Yeah. It's... You know, by like 30 feet. But... What's up? Yeah, got him. Do you want to drink? You can go try and eat some more of that lunch you get. Man, uh, all those guys shooting at me. I wasn't expecting that. He's right here somewhere. Well, not yet. Should play the game, huh? <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I don't know why. Funny how a few sound effects can change a video. Right yeah. What if you take off while they're right after they knock on the door? What happens? Oh, your shield comes on, doesn't it? Oh, I think it does, yeah. Yeah. Brian. Judging how small the window is to see the oh. highlights, I don't think there are any uh, animations that show their demise. Yeah. It's kind of sad. I mean, well, I, you know. It's unfortunate. <laughs> it's, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate you can't have that extra level of immersion. Uh -huh. but, uh, good for them, I guess. <laughs> twisted curse. <laughs> I gotta get what? two more. We don't have any treats here. Do you want some water, gents? You get a water bottle. Those are in there. Do you want to play next, gents? Okay. Well, that's not going to happen for another 30 minutes. Sure you don't want to play? No. Okay. Land. This will take a little while. Yeah. And that is a dark mountain right there. <laughs> and this old screen's going to go, oh, that was pretty close. When this started, I thought it was going to be a bit more like you eat dangerous. Oh, and really? It gave me that vibe. Kind of has that feeling. Did you ever have you ever seen Frontier Elite Two? No, uh, my my brothers didn't get into that. What? I guess I could have, um, but I didn't have money. So uh, it, it, that was an older game, was before our time, but yeah. But I they, I was thinking your family might have it on PC. They were really into like Wing Commander and X Wing and Tie Fighter and things like that, or Privateer. That was a really loved game at my or growing up. I never played it though. Um, they were like, no, it's too mature or whatever. Really? So, yeah. <laughs> Freelancer? Oh, and they played Freelancer yeah, that's too. A good one. That one I have played. Um, that's about Privateer 1 and 2, uh, my brother played. And I, I don't think I've ever even seen Privateer. Ah, it's, it's, it's fun. Here. It's the same universe as uh, Wing Commander, I think. Ooh, we made it. I only had, what, 25% health left? Have fun! Alright, let's do it. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get that one. It's almost like, where did you learn to fly? Yeah. Do a barrel roll. Do a barrel roll. What else is this? There's a ton of lines in there, but those are the only quotable lines in that game. For some reason. Um. <laughs> you know, I never played the first Star Fox. Oh, wow. Why is this world so dark? Oh, it's the Gotta planet. rely on your radar now. It's the planet from Riddick, the first one. Oh. <sighs> pitch Black. Or Pitch Black, that's what it was called. Have you seen that? Oh, yeah. What a it's just this controller. It is. That's a cool controller. That's the Stadia controller, huh? Yeah. Well, oh, I landed. It won't work here. It won't, it won't work here. Up yet. There he is. You have to hook it up to the device yeah, that you're using it on. No, 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 we're playing this game. You I forgot the plugs. I think you'd play Asteroids without it. Well, that's what I was thinking. Plugs. Hey, Jens, do you want to play Asteroids? What is Asteroids? This one. That one right there. No? Mm -hmm. You had enough of that one? But this is the plug to plug it in. Well, I don't know if you can clear those mountains. 
I think if you slow down, it won't hurt your ship. Oh, okay. Um, is it? Maybe. Man, this is yeah, tough. Right. Yeah. You have to watch that radar. Where's so, the headlights button? Yeah, yeah. Yes. There's so many buttons there's here. <laughs> so, uh... It's not set up for it with it right now. I already told you this, but... We're not doing that. Your ship, according to the radar, is in the bottom middle. So if you put the dot down in the bottom middle and then land... Um, I think that's the Yeah, actually. it is. It's picking <laughs> me out. Uh, what else? Uh, I would like a falcon, but those are rare birds. Ha ha ha. Sorry. <laughs> it would be cool to have a falcon, though. Um, of course, they have those, uh, what is it, the new project? The, oh, the Fire Bee. Fire Bee project. It's almost worth getting rather than a, it's cheaper than a Thunderbird or a, a, falcon. a falcon. Why did I say Thunderbird? Isn't that an ST game? No. That's the company that makes... Oh no, it's Firebird. It's Firebird that did... Uh, oh, there's one. Um, that point and click. I think it killed him. Golden Path. Golden Path. Golden Path. <laughs> we need to show you that one. That... <laughs> you want point and click. <laughs> It's it's beyond obtuse. It's uh, it's yeah. It's the graphics are. I enjoy the graphics. They're oh, whoa! He went right over your head. Boom! Oh, I think he no. got gotcha. you. What happened? Oh, there's your eyes. What? Oh, those are my eyes. Hey. How did the jaguar do that? Oh, 64-bit power. That's how it did it. <laughs> so, Jens, are you hungry? Or are you uh, just bored? Well, we had lunch before, but he didn't want to eat, so... Oh. I think he's just bored. Should we try a different game? <laughs> you can slip out if you want. <laughs> okay, um, well, me and Mike are going to keep playing here for a few more minutes. I was thinking right. Heather could bring him something. Uh, but... he's, he was kind of, he's a bit picky before the stream started, so... I think he's yeah. Oh, oh okay. okay. <laughs> gotcha. Like, uh, uh, no one's watching. I'm glad you could come, Jens. I wish that you could come over and see what my game is going We might have to do that to show up. <laughs> what has he been playing? Uh, we've been playing Kreda. He found that it's, it's kind of uh, Stadia's Fortnite. Oh, okay. It's I'm, like you have to kill people. And you've been playing uh, Animal yeah. Crossing, right? Yeah, but the controller in there adds the game that Dad just told you. Okay, we're going to go this way, right? Okay, everybody say goodbye to Bryce. Uh, we'll see you. <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll see him again see next week, most likely. So, Oh, um, that's probably something we should announce. We're talking about switching our stream day to Saturday. Um, Bryce has had a... a a life change that has changed his yeah, schedule and, and yeah. so fridays are becoming harder to do the stream on so we may switch to saturday so and i'll and i'll post on our social media and stuff um <laughs> if we do that so sweet uh let's right. go through a few See more it. levels here and we can space out a little bit ah social distancing social distancing right <laughs> we're all family by the way yeah <laughs> so that's so we're not breaking any rules in our area i live so. right up there literally Okay, but we're family anyway. See so. you guys. <laughs> Is he getting windy? Yeah. Oh, well. yeah. All, right, All right, cool. Let's let's continue. Oh, there's no music on this screen, or was there? I don't think there was. Well, I think there was uh, something that played, but it didn't move. Okay. So. Okay. Do we have to start over from the first level? Oh, we'll find out. Oh, I hope not. Oh, I think we do. We may be playing a different game. <laughs> <laughs> Boiled uh, 21 oh, following wow. you on Twitter now. So sweet. Yeah. Thanks for following. Um, I it the reason so usually we we do what's called a an Atari Talk and Jag Dev stream where we just talk about Atari stuff and and I may do some painting or some Jag Dev or something. But the last few weeks the Atari news has been kind of slow. Um, at least in the Atari ST, Lynx, and Jaguar communities. Um, from what I can tell, I could just be missing stuff too. But um, And so when things are slow, we play games. 
Looks like we can select a level. Uh, do you know what level you were on? You were on five. Um, I was on the dark one. <laughs> uh, I think. I think it. Six. Well, let's see. Zero six. Yeah, I think it's about six. It is about six. Okay. It might have been five. I'm trying to think of the rotation we went through with. Oh, you, me, Bryce. Five. You, me. Four. Bryce. Five. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. So I think I'm it's skipping five. your level. That's okay. It okay. sucked. Well, let's do this. We'll self-destruct here so we can see what that looks like. Self-destruct! Oh, it's like... Wow! Die. Boom! Your whole cockpit fills with blood! Or something. I, was, I think about um, <laughs> space balls. We've been jammed! We've been jammed! Yeah. Raspberry! Oh no, <laughs> strawberry! That's No, I, it's raspberry. Is it raspberry? Only one man would dare give me the raspberry. <laughs> Lone Star! I think I've only seen that movie twice, and the last time I saw it was a long time ago. Yeah. So. It's kind of a little raunchy. Yeah, at times. <laughs> <laughs> it's a funny movie, though. Yeah. I like the whole Pizza the Hut joke. Oh, yeah. Him eating himself <laughs> alive. <laughs> uh, there's some good stuff. The, uh... You were old. John like Hurt <laughs> with the whole alien thing. Not again. Yeah. <laughs> we were probably born after Spaceballs. Yeah, I think uh, it was 87. Bullet 21. Yeah, so I was I was 89 and I think Mike was... 87. 87, yeah. so good year. I think I came out the same year uh, Spaceballs did. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny how we, how we, uh, how we do that with content. Yeah. Um, Will and I both have tons of older siblings, and so uh, a lot of our upbringing was from the 80s, Yeah, I think, more than the 90s even. Well, and, uh, it, and we didn't come from the most well-to-do families, too, and so a lot of the content around us was yeah. old content. Uh, anyways, like, like old VHSs. And stuff. UHF is like a movie oh. our families had in common, just both knowing about that. And have really I told you my it. top three movies? Uh-huh. We so, talked about it before, I just don't remember. So I have a... Uh, oh, gosh. So, um, I have a non-serious list <laughs> and a serious list. So my non-serious list is UHF uh, with Weird Al Yankovic. Oh, gosh, so good. Yeah. And then, uh, not in any particular order. Uh, so UHF, Hackers from 1994, yeah. and, and then Doom uh, from 1984. So, those are those are my top three non-serious favorite movies. <laughs> so, even though Dune is supposed to be serious, um, I only have one movie on my favorite list. And it's because of that conversation about which movies had impact on us, and Princess Mononoke is the only one on my favorite list right now. So. Yeah, you know my my list rotates. Uh, I think every year. And uh, the older I get, the more I'm like, oh. I think for the longest time I've said Ben-Hur is my favorite movie. Yeah. Just because the uh, I like the message. I like the uh, production value. It's really well done. I mean, the fact that they have so many extras and stuff. Um, and I just feel like didn't it's people, aged well. Didn't people die in that one? Um, there were some rumors that people had, but... Um, some horses died, I know. I think sure. some horses died. I think a guy did get uh, seriously injured. Yeah. But there was a rumor that someone had died in the production, but... Um, I've looked into it, and I think that was just a uh, urban legend. Oh. So, kind of like the gnome that hanged itself in a Wizard of Oz. Oh yeah. It's just a. It's an urban legend. Uh, yeah, it's just an urban legend. I guess they're not called gnomes. What are they? Uh, munchkins. Munchkins. Same. Right. Whatever. Nelwins. <laughs> munchkins. Pex. <laughs> they're all goblins. <laughs> or short people, little people. Whatever. How does it is that politically correct? Uh, YouTube yeah. might get us for that one. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, in the context of that world, it, you know. Yeah. It's probably Mad not politically Morgan. correct. Morgan! 50 Love and Jack, tough man. 50 years old. Yeah, you've been around. You were around during the 80s, man. I, I kind of wish I was born a decade earlier just so I could experience the whole. Oh, oh there's an alien. alien! What do I do? Turn alien on your kill. I shoot it. I shot him, I think. Oh. I shouldn't have stood right in front of your gun. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> well, that answers that question. There's aliens. That's awesome. Sweet. There's another guy over here, but there's a turret. Did you see how he was, uh, it looked like he was based off of a 3D model, whereas the pilots, look, they're more like pixel art. Yeah. Yeah, that was definitely pre-rendered. Yeah. yeah. 
this is right. Definitely wakes you up a bit more. Oh, but yeah, Willow's definitely my one of my top favorite movies. Yeah, Willow's That's probably in my funny list, you know, like, it, it's a conversation starter. You know? Yeah, because most people have seen it, and because it was, that was a Lucas film, wasn't it? Um, well, George it's, Lucas. Oh, yeah, darn George it. Lucas. I, I thought it was a turret. <laughs> you have one on your right uh, that's giving you some grief, but um, George Lucas kind of wrote the story, and he... Uh, he took uh, Ron Howard under his wing. Oh. And Ron okay. Howard directed it, but it feels pretty uh, George Lucas y. Um, he gets his hands in the so Well, it's many like projects. the Labyrinth and all these other things. Oh, it's just, I like the Labyrinth too. Yeah. Pilot Too Far, he's right there. Oh, maybe it's talking about this one. Okay. No, I'm a huge Star Wars fan, but. Fallen Angels, what does that say? Can you read that? Oh, uh, Fallen Angels is quite a complete game. I always thought it uh, it was more of a demo. I always thought it was more... And that's at least 76. Are you contradicting yourself there? Fallen Angels is quite a complete game. I always thought it was more of a demo. I must have rescued all these guys. I must be flying around in circles. So do you mean that as... Um you haven't played it and you viewed it as a demo, but you're actually kind of surprised that it's oh. more of a game. That's how I'm interpreting that. But. No, that makes a lot more sense. Oh, and this is a bit more elaborate than uh, I, I like expected it. when you described it from the manual. Yeah. Um, it's There's definitely a lot more to it. and I, Well, and here's the thing. Based on what I've seen of Rescue on Fractalis, this seems like a basically a port of that game. Like everything's there from that yeah. game. Um, which, those 8-bit games are a lot smaller, a lot less comp yeah, complicated. Yeah, he never played it. Uh, there is a demo and also the full game. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, and that's Matt Smith so, jumping in. So, Matt, I just downloaded the latest version that was on the Atari Age thread. I assume that's the full version. Um, I actually, I did some Google searches to see if I could find another download besides his official page. Uh, maybe I should have gotten it from his official page now that I think about it. Um, yeah, gotcha. Oh, there's a couple ships. Oh, right next to each other. I don't hear him. And it didn't say too far away. Maybe that's the one the alien uh, came out of. Oh, probably. Yeah, I've done all... Oh, we can go as soon as the mothership shows up. So the mothership's orbiting, that's why it doesn't... Um, well, you're not getting the green uh, icon over the ships oh, either. I that's think that indicates that. Oh, there you go. You can get out of here now. Auto. Ooh, we got out. Nice. <laughs> oh. I'm wondering how much they're going to do the uh, alien trying to break into the ship thing. Like if that'll be once a level, or if that starts spiking um, beyond this point. There's just a ton of them, and so you're having to do a lot more landings. Yeah. How many levels so, are there? Do you know? Um, I don't know. I know there's at least ten. So there's at least six for <laughs> sure. Because <laughs> I think it mentioned. Does it mention? Gosh, where, why? Why am I thinking that? Seems like somewhere in the manual it said ten or something. It might be infinite too, in the sense that he just goes through the same maps, but increases the difficulty over time. Yeah. Oh. Right. Yeah, that should be close enough. I I was thinking you would have said a six string samurai is. Oh yeah, that's another good one. Dude, is anybody in the chat? Have they ever seen six string samurai? If you haven't seen it, it's definitely worth watching at least once. <laughs> it's at actually. Least I once. think it's a good movie. It gets better the more you watch it. Yeah. Um, because the cringy parts you uh, can anticipate, so that kind of helps. Yeah. It's 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 quotable. It's a very quotable movie. I just quoted it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's probably one of the the only obnoxious thing. Yeah. About that film is, is there's a little kid. It's an escort mission movie. Yeah. It's a, <laughs> there's <laughs> a, a little there's it. a little kid that's following the protagonist around, and he goes. Yeah. Yeah, he doesn't speak for the whole first half. No. Uh, Does he speak at all? At the end. Oh. I need a. I got a DVD of that recently. I need to watch it. I've been saving it for like a guy's night or something with the brothers. And 
We just haven't gotten around to it. Oh, I killed him? Or was the alien killed? Oh, did you kill him? I don't know. Did it say? Well, it didn't say it in red text, so I, I think that's a good thing, right? Um, I think that might have... Was he golden? I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention. I was thinking about 16 Samurai. Oh, if, if, he, <laughs> if, he's, if he's golden, if he has a gold suit, if you can see him, sometimes you can't yeah. see him. If he has a gold suit, he's an, an ace. ace yeah. So it gives you, a, I think it doubles the points or something. All right, let's do this a little faster. I'm... Sorry, we get talking about movies. Let's see on top of the hill. Oh, so rescue. Speaking of movies, rescue of Fractalis is a result. You remember the uh, uh, Star Trek movie where they terraform the planet, and it has that visual effect. It's like one of the first major search visual... for Spock. Right? Yeah, search for Spock with the Genesis uh, project or whatever. And it shows that animation of the planet terraforming or changing. Do you remember that? Yes. So the guys at Lucasfilm, they, they saw that movie and they said, can you do this on an 8-bit computer? They asked one of their programmers. He did it in like two or three days. He had oh, a, working, wow. a working demo of these fractal mountains. And it looks like this, except they're flat planes with a line drawn for the different mountains. Oh, It's yeah. really interesting. Um, is that I, an alien? Is that a turret? I, th I think it is a turret. The dots are a little bit different on the radar. I think they're supposed to be red or something. They probably show up on a CRT really good. We're playing on an LCD. Sorry, guys. Because um, <sighs> I don't want to drag my CRT up to the front front room every week. Um, but I oh, think they're supposed go. to be red. Aw, oh, yeah. There's two. Nice. I wish the oh, man. was a little bit... What? Oh, um, never mind. That's nice. Ace rescue. Yeah, it must... Oh, I didn't get to see what the ace looks like. He looks like the other guy with yellow. <laughs> but I wanted to see what that looks like. <laughs> Drops out of the sky. <laughs> Alien inside! What?! He oh, looked like a dude. You probably have to face the ship. I, I was facing it. Were you? Yeah. I didn't see it. Well, whatever. <laughs> That's nuts. Oh! You had your door open. That's why. Well, I just turn off my shield and, and open, open the door. And then open the door. See, oh, that's I don't what do I do, them too. That's what I do, oh. too. That's... Oh, man. I probably just got lucky that time I hadn't yeah. opened the door yet. Okay. Because I'm like, oh, I've crushed so many in the door, I just don't want that to happen anymore. I always wonder what, why they separated those two things yeah. out, and that's why. Oh, man. Was that level six still? Yes, it was. Okay. Yeah, you must open airlock to kill alien. Oh. Oh, you must open airlock. What? You mean keep it closed, because he bangs on the window. He wants you to open yeah. it up. So. Okay, option... Zero six a we're close oh yeah yeah and that's what we're thinking we'll give it another try here because for sure we're gonna run into an alien oh we yeah know that now so. I'm, I'm betting you're gonna get like two level because it said i killed one earlier yeah um, oh so that pro yeah that oh so you can probably kill him by opening and closing the door too yeah. if you know if it's gonna be an alien well i was getting impatient uh as i do and uh that looks like a turret Get used to that swinging. Okay. So open it. So shield's off. Okay, that seems safe. I guess aliens don't know to knock at the door. <laughs> yeah, they they must enter their ships through the cockpit. Let's try landing and facing. See if the sprite looks looks different. Oh. Of course Get too the close it disappears. disappears, yeah. Well that didn't look different. Huh. Actually, uh, I don't think I've even been letting them knock on the door. I just you just open it up. Yeah, and see. Like, come on in. And that's what I'm used to doing too. But now I think that's why that mechanic's there. Yeah, that's cool. Sorry, people. I must have got. I must. I must go. It was fun. Thank you. Thanks for coming by, Volo Twenty One. Yeah. Hope to see you next time. And they knock on the door in the original. Well, if they come over, see. Listen here. He'll knock on the door. Yeah, like that. 
So I'm assuming that the the aliens don't. Oh, oh, you can blow the ship up after. Sweet. Oh, that's what you do to make sure you don't keep coming back. Oh. Ah. And so the aliens don't. And you get to blow more stuff up. Oh, you got a drone right under you. Oh, that's how you can do a quick stop. You just hit one. Yeah, I've been kind of uh, hitting one and then uh, the acceleration. That's a gold one. I kind of wish they'd do kind of more like a, a rhythmic yeah. thing. Because they're ace pilots. It'd be like uh, Top Gun see or ya. something. Yeah, the, the cool guys. All right, see ya. Thanks for joining. Like what? Sorry. Well, I was thinking an ace pilot's always like a hot shot, so they should do a different knot. Oh. Like they're like a frat guy. Like. It's not a bad idea. Yeah. Or do the, you know, the cliche. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Wait for it. There you go. <laughs> huh. Yeah, if you look at the radar on the screen, the dots are red for bad guys. Are they? Yeah. Oh! Yeah, I don't see it. <laughs> so, they're on the left side oh, of the radar. On the stream, on, I see on, it. On the stream. The... Oh, Here, okay. It's, it, it's because this... Oh, it's because we're doing composite, not S-video on, on oh, the screen we're looking at. There you go. And so it just it splits those colors up. Oh, are you playing on this screen or this one? That one. Okay. I just noticed that, oh, they are red dots. <laughs> yeah, so. that's nice to know because, uh, or I guess it just divides them into uh, three dots. Yeah, that's what it looks like on our screen. Oh. I'm trying to think of a movie that's like this. Um, well, it makes you think of The Last Starfighter in a weird oh, way. Oh, yeah, kind of. Makes me think of a little more of, uh, have you ever seen Enemy Mine? Uh, no. Has that fish-looking alien? It's the human and the alien get caught on a planet and they become friends. Uh -huh. um, it's like Gone with the Wolf or uh, Dances with Wolves. Dances with Wolves, but with an alien. Oh, <laughs> it's it's kind of interesting. Oh, like Avatar. Yeah, I kind of. Like <laughs> whoa, whoa! Oh, was, you're was, almost dead. I was hitting the mountain. Because I accelerated. You're just crushing the alien. I, into I tried. The sh I tried shooting. What I should have done is just turn my shields on. Oh and yeah. That would have fried them. Ugh. Another ship. Yeah, take oh, it. We have to get two more guys before I can go. So that bottom number yeah. tells you two people. Let's see if I can do it without dying. For it. Good thing aliens don't know how to knock. <laughs> Sorry. That, I think there's at least one more alien then. Um, because that wasn't the same place? Well, because on level 6 when I did it, I killed one without seeing it. Um, just from dumb luck. Oh. Oh, that's right. And so I think you have at least one more before uh, uh, before the level's over. I'm trying to clear out these ones I've already seen. Though there's always probably more ships than there are. Uh, yeah. <laughs> to, yeah. So. I assume the enemies don't keep repopulating. Oh, they might. Oh, there's a turret right on the other side. Of course. Landing, landing. So do you get more hit points when you pick up an ace? Yeah, they. I think they do give you a little more energy. Uh, the normal guys give you more energy too, just not as much. Oh crap, that might be an alien. Oh, I was lucky. <laughs> I <didn't like> <laughs> I <know. laughs> and you got a little HP, so. There's a lot of turrets right here. Oh, I can go. Sweet. <laughs> All we right. made it through level six. Wow, this game got a lot harder. Yeah. <laughs> Really quick. Um, yeah, this. So, Frontier Elite 2, 
you could land on the planets in that game. So and there were star bases and stuff. I don't recall you could do much down on the planets except for piss off the local uh, police force, and then they come out and blow you up. There's really nothing else you could do on the planets. Oh, From what right. I remember, somebody might be able to correct me on that. I grew up watching my brothers play. Man, you get all the best levels, don't you? Yeah. Ooh, it's, <laughs> it's Arrakis. It's Arrakis. Worm sign! Anybody see that new Dune trailer? Pretty cool, huh? If you're I'm excited for it, and I've never read Dune. Yeah. Oh. Wait for it. Hop on in. He's a friend ally. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I need to blow up this ship. Because I can. So if you have a hard time, you can land again. And then rotate. Yeah. Oh, I was hoping that would... And you can point up and down while you're landing too. I'm a turret nice. now. Perfect. Boom! By Luke Skywalker. <laughs> well, I feel like it's a little sadistic. Like, are all the pilots in the same room as the as the pilot in this game? And are they watching you blow up their ship? <laughs> Probably. Like, hey, okay, is that yours? <laughs> It'd be cool if there's commentary up at the top. What are you doing? I'd rather die on this planet than be in the ship with you. <laughs> Oh, it'd be cool if there was, like, a menu where you can manage the guys. Oh, yeah. And, like, force them out to be decoys or something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, getting into the FDL territory. Yeah. Gosh, that's a good game. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the new Dune looks great. Maybe I'm the port FDL to the Jag. <laughs> I, me and Bryce talked about it. We almost have enough buttons to do it, too. That's the thing. Um... It'd be cool to do something like FTL. Uh, the problem is, is it would have to be a two-screen game. So you, in the original game, you had both ships on the screen at once, and so you'd be switching between the enemy ship and your ship because there's just not enough resolution. Yeah. Um, but oh, wait, probably the next guy. <laughs> it feels the the only thing I don't like about how the new Dune movie looks is it feels really, really gray. Um, and I'm biased because I really like the 1984 movie because of how um, how colorful it is, how ornate it is, how much detail, and it's um, whoever the DP was, the director of photography, they used a lot of color. I'm I'm afraid that they're going to be really really minimalist with this movie, and it will suffer because of that. But, but we'll see. It, it, other than that, it looks great. I I like I. I like what I see. Oh, the ship designs. The guild navigators ship designs look terrible. They're just these these boxes. They're super boring. Why would they be that way for a civilization that's thousands and thousands of years old? It makes no sense. Um, Maybe we are all minimalist boring Vogue. people at that point. Yeah. yeah. I just felt like nobody put any effort into designing the ships. So... So hopefully, like, the Orenthopters and stuff look cooler. Seems like they're <laughs> Did you fry them? Yeah. That was cool. <laughs> Took them out with the shields. Hey, All Jody. Right. Good to see you. Oh, and there's another one. Wow, this is a populated valley. <laughs> How much time do you have? Oh, uh, whatever. I figured I'd do one more level after you're done. Yeah, and that sounds good. good so. We've hit our hour mark, everybody, but we want to keep playing. Yep. <laughs> so. There it is. Hey, uh, would you guys be interested in me just doing a VLM stream? So it'd be like a half hour, 40 minutes of me just streaming the VLM. Um, let me know if you might be interested in that. Will, what is a VLM? I'm actually asking sincerely. Oh, uh, you, you know what it is. You probably just haven't made the connection yet. Uh, so the VLM is that cool magic, like light machine. It's called the virtual light machine. Oh, okay. Um, remember old Windows Media Player had the cool Oh, effects? the thing you have at the beginning. It's that, but yeah, it's for the JAG. So, um, From what I understand, everybody has to pay the guy who developed the one for the JAG. They have to pay royalties to him if they want oh. something like that. So like the Xbox 360 or the Xbox, the original Xbox had one. 
um, gotcha. in Windows Media Player. But anyways, uh, this level looks especially good. Very Bible and 2047 in that one scene. Yeah, it, it feels like 20... Uh, it, it almost feels like uh, Blade Runner, the new Blade Runner movie, a little bit. Michael is saying it looks like a looks like Arrakis from Dune. Well, and that's what I was thinking. I, I know a lot of people, they put s just streams on in the background to to just have noise while they're doing work or, or whatever, you know, on their computers. And I'm like, some people might like to have the VLM just playing with some music. So it all has to be public domain music or uh, non-commercial use music. And I'll try to find some stuff that's actually interesting to listen to. Uh, there's a lot of demo scene music I can use um, that's... Uh, I believe I just have to give attribution, and and so I'm, I'm thinking about doing that. And and then if you if you want to if you have a TV in your room or whatever, you can pull up the VLM and the VLM's playing there, and you don't have to hook up, hook up your jag. The thing is, the the only reason I'm considering it is because you can't emulate the VLM on a computer. Fry him! <laughs> <Wow. laughs> nice. That is so cool. I like that. I like that. <laughs> it's a good animation. Got it. And I blew up his ship. Got three more guys. Freaking imposter. Is that two aliens? Yeah. I bet you there's another one in here somewhere. Anyways, you can't emulate the VLM, and so I'm like, man, it'd be nice to have somebody streaming the VLM every once in a while. And I, and I don't know how often I do it. Maybe once a month. We'd probably just, I'd replace one of our streams with it. Um, and so I'd be kind of DJing the VLM, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah. And which you can do to a little bit, because there's a debug menu in the VLM where you can change the effects. And I've been wanting to play around with that and see if it, I oh, could kind of turn it I into a post. into a, a VLM thing. So if you do go to the mothership early, it doesn't finish the level, but it heals you and you can start the level over again. Oh, really? Basically. So. That's anyways. Probably a little far. That was my idea for the VLM, so I... I, I like listening to music a lot anyways, and so I was thinking, oh, this could be a good reason to just have some music playing and sit down and listen for a few minutes. And chat with you guys, of course. I would have the chat open, and, and we can chat. Um, I, I wouldn't be speaking into a microphone or looking at a camera, but I, I'd just be typing in the chat. You know, I could combine that if I'm painting something or oh, just yeah. doing code. Maybe I should do that. It wouldn't be the most interesting thing, but um, I know some people would enjoy commenting on stuff. That's when I have to look at the other screen to tell I, what I'm actually looking at now. I get to the point where I'm basically playing the game with the radar. I don't even look <laughs> out the... I assume that's what pirates do. Oh, uh, crap. Turn off your shields. It won't shoot you. Come on. One more. Get out of there! There we go. Yeah, there's a lot of baddies around you right now. Crazy. Oh, oh, your last frick. one. You can do it. No, oh, no I, I was going way too fast. Okay. Um, there it is. Get in right close to the light. That's gonna be an alien. Oh. Ah, ah. <laughs> okay. Hey, I think I got him. Maybe. Oh, good. VLM is nice to have running. Brium! <laughs> That's really cool. I, love that. I like that. VLM is nice to have running to the side while coding, working on JAG stuff in general. You probably already have that set up, don't you, Quinn? I know you. Hey, I really like that um, that that video you did with the Atari Hawks. That was really cool. I hope you do more of those in the future. I've been sharing that with a bunch of people too, <laughs> like a bunch of family members. Because they all know, like, we grew up with the ST, so we knew that the ST was, like, the music machine, but none of them know. Like, I didn't learn about the Atari Hots until I was watching your Instagram or something. And, uh, and so I was showing them your, your last video that you posted, where you were playing, uh, you were playing music with the Atari Hots. And they're like, did Atari make that? And I'm like, yeah, isn't that awesome? Anyways, it's a really cool looking device, too. Everything's touch. Oh no! <laughs> I got too anxious. It was oh Mothership. perfect. I'm picking him up. Mothership, yeah. Uh, Hopefully, there's another yeah. guy. Hopefully. 
Oh, I got, I got some blip. I'd love to finish a level. <laughs> Almost there. I think I, I think I got one. You can only take one more hit, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty low. Nice. That yeah. totally hit him. <laughs> there it is. Where? Oh, right there. Okay, great. All right, it's gonna be an alien, and I won't be able to heal up. All right. Wait, there you go. Okay. Okay. So you just gotta lay low until that mothership rolls around again. It seems like it comes by once every about thirty seconds. Yeah. So I typically have a PVM set up next to my computer, and and I have the CD unit playing the VLM too when I'm working. So. <laughs> I do a lot of that. I've, I've moved away from streaming music at all, except for a little bit of YouTube stuff, but I'm trying to not use YouTube as much anymore either. And so most of my music that I listen to is offline now. And so I'm like, if I'm listening to it offline, I might as well listen to it on the Jag. And so <laughs> I, I hook that up every once in a while. Okay, one more level and we'll call it a day. Because this is work. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is work. It's so hard. Oh, you're on Hoth now. I'm on Hoth. Gotta find, gotta find a uh, Han Solo on his. Uh... Oh, that's his. That's a guy. <laughs> Oops. No, it was an alien. Yeah, I right. swear. <laughs> that was Luke. That was Just Luke. Killed him. <laughs> With his snow speeder or whatever it's called. Yeah. Except, you know, he was stranded with his Tauntaun. No. Tauntaun, that's He what wasn't is. stranded with a Tauntaun. See, that would be a movie I'd say is my favorite, or up there. I like uh, Return of the Jedi. Or, sorry, no, uh, Empire, <laughs> Empire Strikes, Strikes Back. Back. Yeah. No, I think, even as a standalone, it's uh, it does a good job. It's pretty fun. In fact, I think it'd be kind of interesting to have it just be a standalone film. It, you know, if there was an alternate reality. Just be like, oh, what if, what if this was a movie that came out? It acted like all this stuff happened before. You have all these characters and stuff, but there's no movie afterward. Like, what if it was just some B movie that came out, never got traction, and yeah, existed in a vacuum, and it's turned into this cult film or something? Yeah. I'm just trying to think. Is there anything in that movie that, without the first movie, you would lose a lot of context? Um, it'd be a little confusing on how everybody, uh... Is related? Yeah, is related. Like, Han and Leia's, um, awkwardness and that kind of or stuff. Or Han and Luke. I mean, they barely interact, aside from Han saying being Luke. Um, oh, that's right! In the rest of the movie, it's like, why does Luke care about these guys, other than we're told that he does? Yeah, so I guess that standing alone, would, it would be pretty weird. It might not be hard to extend the length of the movie a little bit and fix that if it was a standalone. Yeah, have Maybe. some flashbacks. I don't know. It's not really a Star Wars thing, though. I was watching a YouTube video the other week on a device called the Seaboard by a company called Raleigh. Go check them out. Pretty cool instrument. Yeah, I'll check that out. The Raleigh. Or is it called the Raleigh? No, by a company. Well, there's another one I just went over. Should be blowing up the ships. So, what are the other things on the screen? So, what specifically? Um, or use or OSE. I don't know what the OR is. Oh. Maybe that's telling you a direction you can go. I don't think it changes. Oh no, it does. Wow. He oh, the guy's alive. He's going to have a story to tell. <laughs> He's getting on the ship. Here, pop that one. Oh. You know, this reminds me a bit of a... Uh, what do they call that? Uh, no Man's Sky. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just the different worlds, things like that. I never played it, though. Um, yeah, I haven't played it either. You got all that bad press, and now it's, uh... Can I go into this mountain? Yeah, try. It's 
hurting me pretty bad trying. There's another guy, right? Seems if you keep pushing uh, up or the down arrow. It uh You got a drone to your left. There you go. He'll probably run into me. I thought I'd run into more aliens on this one. Yeah. Oh crap. Okay. What were you talking about? Um, uh, no Man's Sky. Oh right, yeah, I had the bad press. Now it looks interesting and I don't have time. <laughs> yeah, it seems like they've done a few updates to it. I've caught headlines here and there. Yeah, there. I've watched some footage. It looks fun. No aliens, weird. You can bulk a ship at least. You wow. Want to... I'm really sad you don't have to fry anything yeah. in your shields. Fry an it's a really good feeling. <laughs> This one seems a little easier than the last level. Yeah. Kind of disappointed. Have I run into a single alien yet? No. Not a one. I only have one more guy to pick up. Watch, all of them will be aliens. You'll have about five in a row. <laughs> There's a lot of ships around here, too. They're always right on the other side. That terrain is pretty cool, though. Yeah. Oh, good. Oh, good. A little disappointing. Yeah. I almost want to go until I run into an alien. Yeah, I'd say try it out. I haven't been hurt a whole lot. There he is. <laughs> now you can go home. <laughs> <laughs> It says, it said Mothership a second ago. Oh, did it? Yeah, I should have to wait now. Shit, shit. Yeah, rack up some points. Oops. Yeah, we 76 says, yes, it looks a little weird to play. The, that other musical device, I think. Uh, yeah, I think so. You ever heard of a theremin? Yeah. The one where you play in the air. Yeah. They're pretty, pretty cool looking. They sound stupid. <laughs> I don't like ghosts. <laughs> yeah. It reminds me of, of somebody playing a saw. Yeah. That's what it sounds like. Yeah, it's a lot like that. I've always thought, thought it'd be cool to get one. I heard about a guy who was selling one once and, uh, and, um, he said, yeah, in 30 years, I haven't even touched it. Really? <laughs> oh, no. Don't get it? Oh. Yeah. Ha, ha. Hilarious. <laughs> Die! <laughs> that is pretty terrifying. Oh. That's a fun mechanic, that they have the whole thing about the shields, just so you can do that. Yeah. When this come out, 2013? Uh, I don't know. Is that what it said on the... I think I might have gleaned that from the manual. I'm not sure. It was a while ago. That's all. It's been. I think it's been more than ten years. Oh wow. Well, well your sci-fi Star Trek tunes. That's right. That's true. A theremin would make good, uh, good, uh, um, like uh, tonal music for Star Trek. Yeah. Oh, the first series almost sounds like it was played all one. But it could have been, too. I, the whole thing was experimental. Yeah. Oh, I think that... Uh, got that one. Yeah. We've got a lot of enemies around here. Okay. Mothership 7! Alright. Okay. We're done, unless you want to play another level. No, I've got, <laughs> got a couple things to do today. Like eat lunch. Like eat lunch. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's right. 
Okay, uh, thanks uh, for watching, everybody. Um, let us know uh, if there's anything we can do to improve the stream. As usual, follow us on uh, Facebook at Jag Corner and then uh, Twitter at BitJag. Uh, it's there on the screen towards the bottom of the screen. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, we may, again, for those who came on a little bit later, we may change the stream to a Saturday instead of a Friday. And uh, also, I'm going to be moving soon, so there, there won't be any disruption like in the next few weeks, but I there could be disruption a little bit later, later on. So, but anyways, Lee, Clint, um, Matt, and I can't remember the other guy, <laughs> Mark. It was Mark something. And then Boiled 21. Yeah, uh, ba 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 Ballad. Ballad. Ballad 21 yeah. or something. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, thanks for thanks for joining us on the stream. Um, thanks for sharing it too. I know Lee, you share this in the Jaguar fan group on Facebook. I really appreciate that. Um, yeah, and uh, if you want to continue the conversation, we're on Twitter. I'm uh, more than willing to chat chat there. So, thanks again, and we will see you. Uh, we'll see you next week. <laughs>